Hi everyone, I am Shifa from Hacktify Cybersecurity. In this series of videos, I am going to explain and implement all the bug bounty tips which are shared by security experts on Twitter. Today I am going to take up a tip from Twitter which is shared by Rohit Gautam. Let's quickly try to implement it and check if it works. Let's quickly get started. Okay, so as you all can see that I am on my Twitter page now. I am going to be using a tip which is shared by Rohit Gautam. As you can see that the command is already given as a part of a tip and this tip is about doing subdomain enumeration with the help of a word list using a tool fuff. So what I am going to do is first of all I am going to download this tool fuff. So for that let's go to the new tab write fuff github and you can go to the github page and you can go on right hand side go down go to latest releases and you can find out a compatible version related to your system configuration i am on mac currently so i am going to download this one which i have already installed if you are on windows or linux you can download the compatible version based on your system configurations Let's go back to Twitter. Over here you can see that a word list is also used which is bestdnswordlist.txt. Before that let's copy this command and paste it in the terminal. So I am going to quickly go and paste this in my terminal. Once you do that now the next thing that we need is best dns word list dot txt i know that this word list can be found on a set node so i am going to quickly go and write a set node go to the first link i'll go down or i can paste the best dns word list and i got the result from here you can download this directly so as you can see that I got a list of keywords which are a part of this word list. Now what I can do is I can quickly go right click copy the link address and I can also get the word list from terminal with the help of wget. So I am going to write wget paste the link that I copied in order to download the word list. It has started downloading on my terminal and as you all can see uh, it is taking a little while and also the length of the file or the size of the file is 134 MB. So it is downloading. We are on 80%. Once this is downloaded in your system, now you can see the file is saved. Now we are ready with the fuff tool as well as the word list. The next thing is to execute the command that we copied. One small change that I'm going to do here is change the fuff to small case because this is how I have saved this tool in my system and we are going to quickly check it for example.com. Now I'm going to hit enter and it started processing. As you all can see that I got a result with the status 200 is found still it is in progress 95 lakh words are been tried on that particular domain and we have found one subdomain which is www as you can see the status code for this particular subdomain was 200 okay that's the reason we have got this particular subdomain you can also try it for some other domain so let's quickly go and try for hacktify.in and hit enter uh, let me remove http make it http this time and we are going to wait for this to start it started it is again trying for 95 lakhs keywords and i got the first subdomain which is stage i can stop this you may continue if you want to find out more subdomains i am going to quickly go on browser and verify if stage.hactify.in works so yeah it works i can see the results that the blog is coming soon and this is a staging website what more we can do is uh, 
let me quickly end this progress first of all so now what you all can do is you can also go down in the tweet and you can see that i got so uh, i have seen certain comments which were there on this tweet which says that why to keep yourself restricted or limited to 200 okay wherein you can also check for other status code hyphen mc stands for match code and i can see that someone has replied to this particular tweet and said that you can also use other status code so what i can do is i can copy paste this and look for more results so this time we are not looking only for 200 okays we'll also find 401 etc so as you can see it has started loading and finally we will get some more results what more changes you can do to, to this particular command is that you can try for https if you have tried earlier for http and hit enter so that to get more results now i am going to wait for this word list to be brute forced on hackify.in and uh, okay so this time i got a lot of results i got so many subdomains dev mail ftp pop3 webmail learn etc okay so that's it for this video i hope i was able to explain and implement this particular tweet and tip which is shared by rohit gautam and we have checked that this tip is also a reality and we are able to use this tip and find out subdomains for any given target you can do a little addition as suggested in the comments by different security researchers by changing the status code and adding some more apart from 200 okay i am going to come up with more videos wherein i am going to explain a lot of bug bounty tips and we are going to implement it together thank you so much for watching this video all the best for your learning